Hello, my name is Brad Tilton and I'm a developer advocate with a developer program here at ServiceNow. And today I'm going to do a quick little demo uh, of one of our new Paris features in Flow Designer. Uh, the get catalog variable action uh, has been around in Flow Designer for a few releases now. And one of the things that was added in the Paris release is support for the multi row variable set. And the multi row variable set uh, is the little table looking variable uh, that you can use with the catalog. Uh, but previously, you haven't really been able to do a lot in Flow Designer with that variable set without doing some scripting. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I want to do is look at our access request catalog item here. This is a, an item that I've created for this demo. Uh, and the goal of this item is basically to request access to stuff. Uh, so we'll go ahead and fill it out. Uh, we'll say Able wants access to a couple of things here. So we'll add a couple of rows. And we'll say thing one, read access, lots of stuff. And then we will add a second row for thing two. Uh, and we'll say write access to even more stuff. All right, so we have our two rows uh, with our three columns uh, and our variable set here. I'm gonna go ahead and order now. Now that I've ordered my catalog item, I have a request and a request item here, uh, and uh, we should have some data in there. So let's click into my request item. I can see that it does have my variables present here, uh, and let's go ahead and look at our flow. So I have a pretty simple flow as the default flow here uh, because maybe when I created this flow, I didn't have access to the MRVS within the flow. Uh, but what we're going to do is open up that flow and uh, make some changes to it uh, with our new Paris functionality. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to look at the get variables. Uh, it's called get catalog variables. And it needs some things from us. I'm going to give it the request item record and then the template catalog item. So it has to know, you know which specific catalog item it needs to go find the related variables for. Uh, so now we have access to both this uh, user reference variable and my multi-row variable set, uh, which is the cool part of the Paris release. So I'm gonna hit done. And we now have this multi-row variable set uh, as a data pill. And so I've got my uh, array of objects here and then here is my object so this represents one row and then here is the three columns uh, in each row so now that I have this uh, I can do uh, a for each so I can iterate through each of these things so this is something that I would have had to do through a script I would still need to do through a script and a workflow uh, but now I can do this uh, in the flow without writing any code, uh, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to pull that over here. Uh, we'll pull our task down. We need to fill some more things in for the task here. Uh, so I've got my short description and I want to say um, in my for each. So uh, what type of access do I want? Uh, I didn't like that. So let's say what type of access do I want? And then uh, what thing do I want access to? And then in the description, I'm going to put my extra stuff here. And then I'm not going to have a wait because uh, I'm looping through. I want to create a couple of these. We'll hit done. Uh, so I think that should do it. So let's save this. And then we'll run a quick test, which is, I think, one of my favorite parts of Flow Designer. I'm going to run a quick test against this one catalog item here. And uh, hopefully we will see two iterations with two tasks that got created. Um, so we see that my catalog task did get created here. And if I go in and look at the other iteration, I also had another catalog task created. And we can click into that and uh, see that I did get a task created here and it has the number 
14. And then if I look at the other one, we have, um, it is at least a separate, uh, separate task there. There we go. This one's 13. Uh, so that's it. That's uh, the uh, the get catalog variables action with the multi row variable set support, uh, which is going to be really helpful uh, in iterating through uh, the different rows in that multi row variable set. Thanks for watching.